in this video I'm going to be showing you two, two tools that you can use every day for stock trading alright let's get into the video number one tool is Google believe it or not Google is one of the most used tools for traders every day alright you can type in things as what is a stock what is a leveraged ETF you don't need anybody to tell you what a leverage ETF is you have it right here uh, uh, the Sikin Alpha tells you what it is uh, uh, money.usnews.com tells you what it is Fidelity tells you what it is some of them might even show you what a leverage ETF is you know if you open Fidelity it shows you oh this is what it is and then it shows some of the performances and all that all right over here shows you that as well all right so Google is a very 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 essential tool for every trader some things that you don't know what the name what what the meaning is how it works put it on Google compare with two or three pages and you should be able to figure it out next is Investopedia Investopedia is the dictionary for all trading terminologies most websites a lot of websites a lot of uh, trading videos and training videos and the gurus they get their definitions from Investopedia they just change the words and use it I have researched this and it's true a lot of them get their words and their meanings and their definitions from Investopedia uh, you can type in the same thing it's like Google but it's focused on stocks only all right uh, Google you can have you know random you know you can type what is a stock and you have everybody giving you what a stock is right okay everybody giving you what a stock is but if you see the two main search is going to be Investopedia because they will give you the actual term because they are actually um, focused on trading and, and, and stock market and finance and all that kind of stuff all right so Google and Investopedia are two free tools that you can use uh, bookmark this on your browser put it on your desktop and anytime you need information about something you don't have to email or text your favorite guru he's gonna get upset you know I'm saving a guru here alright go ahead and just check it right here check the meaning right here if you don't understand the meaning type the word again you know what is ATR uh, what is average true range alright so if you don't if you if you see a word uh, that you don't understand why you are probably reading something or, or you know watching a video or something like that make a note of it and come over here and come and check what it is all right because if you check what it is right here you have confidence that you know exactly what you are doing you see that right here it tells you exactly now it might give you some mathematical formulas that you you know might drive you crazy but you don't really care about it you just want to know what it is all right so it tells you how it calculates it right here but again over here it just tells you what it is the average true range is the market volatility indicator using technical analysis okay what's next it is typical de typically derived from a 14 day simple moving average series so now you know it's an SMA 14 it tells you the range on the SMA 14 right and the next thing it tells you is origin when it was originally developed now it, you can go down and say well, how to calculate and then if I tell you okay what does this tell you that's how to use it and then it tells you how you can use that all right how you can incorporate that to your trading examples of how you use it is this limitations is this and then it tell you all the articles that it was sourced and it'll tell you really the terms so I hope I've been able to save a guru here I hope you have learned something I hope you have seen the importance of Google which is very very helpful tool in searching stuff instead of texting somebody to type to you again you save yourself from typos these gurus are so busy so they might have a lot of typos and stuff like that so you want to save yourself from that okay um, Google Investopedia go ahead and check them out they're really good and give me a feedback let me know if that has helped you and uh, click the link below to see how I use other sites hey don't forget to leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed leave a like to help our YouTube algorithm and check out more content in the description below thank you for watching